Welcome back, everyone. Well, Opera in the Park is returning to Madison this Saturday. The two hour performance at Garner Park is always a hit, and this year it looks to be no different. So, joining me live to talk more about this free event is Catherine Smith, the general director of the Madison Opera. Catherine, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. So, for those who have never heard of this event before, tell us about Opera in the Park. So, Opera in the Park isn't a full opera, it's a concert of selections from opera and Broadway. We always have some classics, you know, something from La Boheme. But then we also have stuff people may not know. So it's sort of something for everyone, and it's about a two-hour concert. Mm -hmm. And we have four principal artists, along with the Madison Opera Chorus and the Madison Symphony Orchestra. So it's an amazing free concert. We keep saying free mm -hmm. in Garner Park. Yeah, this is a wonderful way, I feel like, to expose people to opera. It just to great singers and great music. Even yeah. if you think you know opera, you'll come, and I promise you we're doing something from an opera that premiered in 2023. <laughs> and something from an opera from 1711. And so we just have an amazing mix of music that I think reflects how interesting our community is right. in music. Right, and we were seeing some footage from years oh, past yeah. now. and Last summer. Quite a big crowd coming out here every year. It is. It's one of the highlights of summer in Madison. This is the 22nd year. Mm -hmm. And when weather is nice, we can have over 10,000 people. And some people arrive at 7 in the morning to put down their tarps. I already say people can wow. come at 7.55 p.m. and just find a space, no bad seat in the park. Wonderful, and what's, what's your favorite part? My favorite part is what we call the light stick number. There is one number that on the concert, we don't tell people in advance what it is, where everyone conducts along with their light sticks in time to the music, and John Demain turns around and conducts the audience, and it sounds cool and it looks even cooler. <laughs> it's like our Wonderful. whole community making music. That's so, so exciting. So how is it that you are able to put this on year after year for free? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have some very generous sponsors. We have a Great. lot of people in the community who believe music should be available to the community. Mm -hmm. And we have so many generous sponsors who every year say, yes, this matters. This matters that we're all together under the same night sky hearing this great music. So we're incredibly grateful for those. Wonderful. All right, and then um, is it going to look different than years past? I mean, well, do you do something different every year? It's different singers every okay. year and a different program every year. So sure. we keep the things everyone likes, the light sure. stick number. It always ends with it's a grand night for singing, which is practically an audience sing-along now. So we have music from our upcoming season. We have different singers every summer. So it's different and yet familiar, I would say. Wonderful. That sounds like a lot of fun. It is a wonderful evening. Well, thank you so much for joining us thank this morning. You. Appreciate your time. All right, let's take things over to Amanda now for a check on your forecast.